the stock market there today dropped more than 1% over concerns that security regulators have now opened the gateway to new initial public offerings, IPOs. For more details, let's check in with Lenora Chu, who is live in Shanghai. Lenora. Sure, that's right. Thanks. As you mentioned, yes, there's a lot of uh, activity in the IPO market, and as a result, the Shanghai Composite had tumbled 1.5% due to, the, to that and other factors. Part of the reason, it was led by financial sectors over concerns of a pending flood of new shares. Now, the CSI 300 declined about one and three quarters percent. There was a bright spot, however, energy transmission companies. Shares floated higher there is, as the government announced it would begin construction on ultra-high voltage power lines. Now, these lines would transport power from the west to the power-hungry east coast. Shares in TBEA climbed about one and a quarter percent. China XD Electric rose more than a half percent. Well, Honora, there have been no listings during the past eight weeks in the mainland, mostly due to some confusion regarding regulations and restrictions there and the requirements. So what can we expect after the most recent announcement? Sure, that's right. The announcement you referred to last Friday, the securities regulator released draft prospectuses for 28 new companies planning to list in China. Of course, that raised concerns about a potential share oversupply, which dragged down share prices, as we had talked about earlier. So there are more than 600 companies in the queue to list. That's quite a lot, even though regulators have long sought to strike a balance between allowing new companies to list and maintaining overall share value for existing firms. So, you know, at the same time, sources inside investment banks tell us that dozens of Chinese companies had abandoned plans to list in the mainland. However, in recent days, others have announced plans to indeed participate. You know, there's a quite a bit of uncertainty hanging over the market with this IPO issue, so we'll be watching in the days to come.